All right, we're looking at a 2011 Nissan Juke. It's actually not my car. It's a friend's wife's car, but the driver's side window here would not roll down. All the other windows work fine. So it seemed that the fuses were all okay. It was getting power. And when I tried it, I could hear just a little click coming out of the motor here, but the motor wouldn't actually do anything, which makes me think the motor has gone bad. I was hoping maybe the switch was a problem. The switch checks out okay. Getting and sending power. Unfortunately, I have already taken everything apart. It's pretty easy. You gotta remove the door panel but it is just held on by these clips and pops mostly off, except there is a screw. It's a small torque screw that fits down in there and secures it to this bracket. And once that was out, I went ahead and removed the switch just so I could get it all out, out of the way. And now we can work on it. I didn't have the motor on Amazon currently, or I probably would have ordered it. Had it other places online. Cheaper. But then I saw they had it in AutoZone at town. 150 bucks, so I just picked that up. Here is the motor and regulator. Really, I just need the motor. I don't know if I'm going to go through the trouble in putting this in place. I'm going to try to remove it and see. We're going to start by taking these two. I think 10 millimeter bolts out and then I'm going to just go ahead and pull this down. It's sort of held in place with some glue, sticky tacky stuff. Okay, screws pulled out. This little bracket is removed. And I'm just going to peel this down. I'll probably just let it hang so I can expose the more inner workings of the door put it in I'm actually I'm gonna unplug this pushing down here I'm just gonna pull this out and I'm gonna plug it in to my new motor just to see okay so I got my switch plugged in powered up I'm just gonna try it and that is doing what I want much better I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to plug it back into the original one when I try to go up or down nothing happens but if you really listen you can hear this thing click so in a perfect world I would roll this window about halfway down so I could see the mounting brackets here that mount to the window and hold the window and lift it up or down but my problem is the window won't go down or up they're right back up here on the top of it right now I could feel them I get a Phillips see if I can get a weird tool up in there to remove them okay that might be doable but what might be easier okay I got it to work <laughs> I took a hammer actually a screwdriver and just tapped the motor lightly while maneuvering the switch up and down and it finally started going up and down which will allow me to access these actually I'm gonna line it up with this hole right here maybe there now that screw is lined up this screw is lined up and I'm going to use something to secure the window so it does not fall when I unhook this. Okay, not sure if this is the best idea, but we'll see. I have used some painter's tape to secure the window sort of in place. And now I'm going to remove these two bolts. Which would be what the window was sitting on right here. Okay, so I've removed these two 10 millimeter screws. From here and here so our window is pretty much 
not held in place by anything but the tape. I'm going to remove the tape, lift the window up, and tape it up there. Conversely, I could start the car and help the window back up. But I need to get this out of the way so I can slide the motor out without scratching the glass. The glass is lifted and taped up and out of my way. That leaves all of this free. I'm going to now undo these two, which correspond to these two and these two on the bottom down here. And then there's these three that hold the motor itself into place. And I should be able to slide it all out. We've got all of those screws removed, so our motor and regulator are now just sort of freestanding like this inside the door. There's sort of these little retainer clips to sort of hold the mount motor in place. So we're going to move that. Unplug it obviously and just try to slide it out the side. We twisted it, organized it, and now we are just gonna awkwardly slide it out. And there we go. Light our new one in much the same way. Okay, I slid the new one in. And once you get these tabs set here and there, the screw holes pretty much line up. Got those three tightened, motor is secure in place. Now we're gonna line up the top two and bottom two mounting brackets, which will hold our regulator in place. These three bolts screwed in, line this up, I'm going to tighten these four, two here, two here. Got those four tightened. Now I am going to release the window, carefully drop it back down onto the holder, and I will screw it back in place. Still got it so I can see the bolt hole here. So I have lowered that down carefully, and these tabs on here just line up with the mounting bracket here and here and we'll put our final two screws in there now we have both of those secured be careful not to drop them down the door and now we'll power it up and test we got it all in place we're going to plug in the power connector and once that's plugged in we're going to take our switch and test it out down very good Back up. That's what we like to see. All right. Now we'll put it all back together. Removal was basically the reverse of this procedure. But first, we are going to unhook these two connectors so we can slide this back through the sleeve. Just pop this one out on this side. Pop this one out here. And that's removed, set that aside. Pull this back through our plastic. And then we're gonna do our best job at stretching this back out and just kind of getting it to stick back where it was. And there we go, that's pretty good. Got that set. I'm gonna take our door panel Pop it back on in place. It is just held in by these clips that pop on along the sides. Just needed a large flat head or something to initially pry it off. Should just pop back on. Okay, before we put the door panel back on, we're gonna take our bracket, reinstall that right here with our two bolts. Then we're gonna slide our door back in place, our door panel. Going to mount the top first so it's nice and tight up around the window and then it really just pops on and then we're going to go ahead and take our small torx head screw put it into that bracket we just put back on to secure this panel in place this little cap back over it in here and then we will 
take this little corner piece, mount it back onto there. And we're gonna plug our switch in one last time, just to retest, make sure it's working before we finally put that cover back on and secure it back in the door. It's back on. Pop it back in here, we're done.